practice. We're talking about practice. That's my famous Allen Iverson quote. And today we are going to talk about practice for real estate agents. Not only will it make you better at what you do, but it can generate business, referral business. What's up, everybody? Mike Ferrante with Century 21 Homestar here and the 21 Mike team. We are a team of real estate agents basically serving from Columbus North. Uh, so anywhere from Columbus to Cleveland, Akron, Canton, Lorraine, uh, we're about 40 agents strong and we're looking for help. So if you are in any of those markets and you're interested in learning what we can do to help you grow your business, hit me up, mike at 21mike.com. And you can go to our website too and check out what we do there, uh, 21mike.com. We also put these Tuesday trainings on YouTube. So if you are into YouTube, go there and please subscribe to our channel. I say we, because it's not just me here today with training. It's Tony Geraci, broker owner of Homestar. And he's here. We're here, Tony. Like almost every Tuesday, we are dedicated professionals. We thrive on training, right? Exactly. No, we, I mean, almost every Tuesday, maybe there's a holiday. We might take off a little bit. <laughs> I took off January 2nd. That, that was the only day I took off. I know a couple people showed up, I heard, but you know, even we need a day off. But every Tuesday we're here, we're giving you 20 minutes of free training, little tidbits to help you in your business. And uh, today, Tony, we are going to talk about training and or I'm sorry, practice, practice and, and, and how this can also generate business for you. Um, Tony, if you want to talk Homestar or um, if you are a Homestar agent and want to talk to Tony, you know, the best way to get him is by text. Uh, he, he's like on that phone. I swear to God, you must only sleep like 20 minutes a day. Hit him up, 216-374-1269, and Tony responds. One of the things I love about Homestar is there's always someone there to help. Uh, even the broker owner is there, ready to answer my questions, get me out of hot water, tackle situations. Like, we just had one, Tony. We won't say names or anything, but uh, we just we just <laughs> negotiated one, and that all worked out. That's good. Nice to see. Yes. All right. So what the heck is Mike talking about, Tony? Practice. Why? What do you mean agents practice? So I'll tell you right now, I've got at least uh, uh, two or three teammates here on the call, and we have a standing role play practice. So any other any other sport or career, Tony, if you're not practicing, like you're not going to be good at what you do. Like, you don't. you would never see... Um, Michael Jordan go out and just say, well, I got a game. I'm not going to practice my free throws or practice uh, these plays or practice the defense. They're all, even the people who are the best of the best still practice. And I think it's the same for real estate agents. Um, and of course, what I'm talking about is role play. I think that's the most valuable form of practice. You wouldn't just go on a listing appointment if you haven't been on one for six months. Wouldn't you practice it first? What What's your experience with role play and practice for real estate agents, Tony? Oh, definitely. I mean, at least practice, uh, like, uh, you know, I've been doing this so long. So every day I'm practice, I'm, I'm playing. It's kind of like, you know, if you're not in the game every day, doing, playing the game, kind of like, a, let's say golfer, you know, they're, they're, they're practicing, but they're playing a round of golf. <laughs> it might not be a tournament, but if you're not doing that almost on a daily basis, at least, you know, refresh yourself on what the, your listing presentation is, your buyer presentation. The great thing about technology, I like, uh, like sometimes my videos are not live and I practice. I do a video up, oh, miss that up. I, I want to say this and maybe take me 10, 15 times to do a 20 minute video, but I'm practicing while I'm doing it. Right. You know, so, so you can use video, you could role play with somebody else. So I think video is a lot is good because you could see yourself and see your facial expressions, see, hear what you say, do your listening presentation, uh, and, uh, any, any way to keep practicing. And if you're, if you're really doing the, the prospecting, and not getting the results. What do we always say, Mike? If you're not getting the results and doing all the work for a long period of time, then you got to figure out, switch up. What's what are you saying? What could you be saying? What's a better way to angle it? I mean, obviously, between me and you and, and what we do every day, it's gosh, what we'd say today was not exactly what we said a year ago, two years ago, temporary. We're always uh, uh, fine tuning, if that's a, a good word to use. Absolutely. And Tony, I love that you brought up the recording. So that's something we do every Saturday. By the way, guys, if you want to just pop in on one of our Saturday role plays, we're always looking for new people to challenge us with new objections. So if we're practicing expired calls or FISBO calls, we'll literally just 
pretend like we're a FISBO and the other person on the call, you know, we'll break out into breakout rooms and we'll practice talking to those people. But if you want to get in on that, just as a visitor, you can hit me up, Mike at 21mike.com. But if you don't have someone to practice with, what Tony said is so valid. Until I saw myself recorded on video, until I heard my voice recorded, I didn't realize how bad I sounded. So literally just getting in front of your own camera and practicing your script and then play it back. Listen to yourself. Are you boring to listen to? Is there no enthusiasm in your voice? If I call up Tony and say, Hi, Tony, this is Mike with Century 21. I, I saw your house expired. You're not still trying to sell that house, are you? I mean, how enthusiastic do you think Tony's going to be to talk to me? And the only way you'll know that is if you hear yourself. So recording is huge. The other thing I want to talk about real quick, I'll, I'll cut to the chase on how you can actually generate more business. Tony, you and I always talk about how other agents can be a great source of business. So what I recommend every agent, I think every agent in the world should be a part of at least one mastermind group or one role play group or one of each. Because what do you do when you get together with them? Say you have a weekly standing call, strategically pick partners. So for we're in Ohio, maybe some agents in Florida. You know, how many people are moving from Florida or to, from Ohio to Florida or South Carolina? And when you practice with those agents, of course, you get to know them. And what are you doing? Building referral opportunities. So Tony, I don't know if you have many agents who are participating in masterminds or networking with other agents in this in this way, but I thought I'd bring that up because I think it's a great way to grow your business too. We definitely have lots of agents that are networking with other agents. Just we met at, in, uh, even on social media and Century 21 and Workplace where there's different groups. If so, any of our Century 21 agents are watching, there's a great Workplace, uh, which is kind of the Facebook of Century 21 or, you know, it's, it's Facebook. But uh, and you can join different groups and everywhere because uh, and I, I say this at least one agent every day. Uh, usually they ask, you know, is there any agents around here that I could, you know, talk to and go over with and what they're doing, what's working and not working? I'm like, yeah, I've got lots of great agents, but remember they're in your backyard here. A lot of them don't want to tell you their secret sauce, but if you network with someone from Florida, they'll be fine because you're not going to impact them. I always remind every agent, we have lots of great agents. There's a lot of great agents out there, nice, very nice people, but they all know that we're all competitors with each other. <laughs> and every year I have one or two agents and and I'm sorry if I went out, I'm going to go off on a little bit of tangent that says, uh, Hey, Tony, I can't, I'm so excited. I, I convinced my cousin to get into real estate with me. I'm like, well, that could be good or bad. Like, how's that bad? Well, you just now are going to teach them everything you're doing, doing well, they might do it on their own. And then now you have competition. You're just built competition, you know? So somebody, oh, I didn't think of that. <laughs> so, you yeah. know, coffee shops, when they're doing well, don't call all the other coffee shop uh, franchises. You know, you really should put a, a coffee shop next to mine. It's great. I'll teach you what I've been doing. So <laughs> that hopefully that makes some sense. So the whole point of that, long-winded was just like you, Mike said, just networking with other people, other agents, and there's a way to do that outside of our market. Perfect. So think about who you already know. If you're here in Ohio, do you know agents in Florida, California, you know, the other feeder markets that you might be sending referrals to or getting referrals from? And if you already have these existing relationships, ask them, hey, would you like to do a regular role play call? And you can do it on the phone. You can do it on Zoom. We do Zoom audio only. But Tony's point is really well taken because remember, guys, even if you're with the same brand and there's lots of brands out there and you think, oh, we're allies, kind of. But really, even if you're with the same brand, you could be competing with that local agent for a listing for a buyer. So, you know, I th also believe in doing these types of things. So even my teammates who are on today you guys should be out there creating a little network for yourselves and maybe have a separate role play. Now, if you don't know people, Tony gave you a couple of great options, workplace, Facebook, you know, any of these other networks that you have, just put it out there. Just say, hey, I'm an agent in Columbus, Ohio, looking for role play partners on Saturday mornings or Sunday mornings, whatever Sunday afternoon, whatever time. And you will be pleasantly surprised at how many people say, I'll do it because everybody wants to role play. I mean, if they're really serious about their business, that is. So put it out there, create your own little group and bam, you just created two, three, 10 
new referral partners. It's an amazing way to grow your business. I'll shut up for a sec, Tony. Anything? To no, add that's good. That's perfect, and it 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 works. It, that's all yeah. there is to it. And the successful agents, uh, the really, the successful agents is simple. Two things. Number one is that they do the prospecting and the follow up, and they do it over, uh, consistently over a long period of time. And second, they're always tweaking their craft of what to say, how to say it, different ways to sell people on why they should use you to buy or sell a house. So when, if you have example, if you have two agents that are doing the exact same prospect and the number of people calling, doing it over a long period of time, and one person gets more business than the other, it's, it's 99% per, they're just the message and how they're saying it, what they're saying is making the difference. Yep. In the long period of time, the numbers just average out normally. But when you're selling something, that's totally, totally different. Yeah. So speaking of numbers, and Tony, perfect segue into what I wanted to talk about next. But speaking of numbers, in my experience, every 20 or so calls, if you're really good, leads to an appointment. Now, if you're if you're not that good, if you still need practice, you know, it might be 30 or 40. Okay. But if you're if you're making the calls, you will get some appointments. Now let's talk about the segue. Oh, go ahead, Tony, and then we'll talk. Oh about no, I was going to say in my experience too. Just like you said, is that uh, I'm just e even numbers. I just roll, uh, you know, round this up. Is like if you make a hundred phone calls, you'll probably get a hold of at least twenty percent of those people, and out of those people, you'll probably get twenty percent of those, or four or five that are good contacts for future th people, and you'll probably get one appointment out of it if yes. you're saying the right. So if if that average, so I think a hundred, I'm going to get a hold of twenty. If you get a hold of more, great. And if you you uh, out of that twenty, if you get twenty percent, that say, yeah, I would love to follow. Up with you definitely want to be so just imagine that if you made 100 phone calls a day you're going to get you're going to add three or four people good people to your database to follow up in the future and probably get one appointment if someone says either they are or have someone really close to them like a friend or relative a neighbor or a brother or sister their children that really are looking or, or selling now absolutely and, and the key there tony is not everyone's ready right now so it might be yeah you know what um I am going to be selling, but not till next year. So what do you do? Wait until next year to call? No, of course not. You stay in touch with that person four times a year and add them to your call rotation, hopefully in your CRM, at least on a spreadsheet or on a pad of paper, worst case, uh, or like Tony and I did for many years is we just use a calendar, you know, so a really handy way, you know, free way to do it. Now, of course, you guys are sitting there going, great, Mike, what do I practice and what does that look like? So I'm going to just throw a couple scenarios out there. And then, Tony, if you'll be so kind, I'll be the agent and I'm going to do a quick 60 second role play with you. OK, now you're not going to throw up a ton of objections, but I'm just going to let people hear what it sounds like when we practice. OK, so what do you practice? You can practice sphere calls. I know that sounds weird, but we will literally practice what it sounds like talking to someone that you already know, because a lot of you raise your hands. If you're guilty of this, you say, oh, that's awkward. Calling people I already know is awkward. Practice. OK, FISBOs, expireds, withdrawns, circle prospecting, you know, paying for numbers and calling a neighborhood, especially if you can narrow it down using one of the services out there by, say, people who've been in their homes 10 years or more. Are those good people to call? Probably. Um, we practice open house scripts. We pretend like we're standing at the door and we practice all that stuff. I'm sure there's a bunch more, Tony. Um, anything to add before we give people our practice role play? No, just after the, the number one objection or people why agents don't do it is just fear. So you got to put yourself in a position where you have less fear. Friends, relatives, if they pick up the phone, they know it's you. In today's day and age, wow, 30 years ago when I was making calls, you know, to people's home phones and, and getting them in, in, in by dinner time and I'm interrupting their dinner or their kids are upset because they're on the phone and they don't have call waiting or something like that. So today it's so much easier, less fear or figure out ways, uh, you know, where to call people that you're inviting of something or saying something or giving something of value so they you, you, they'll, it won't be as upset either. So. Yeah. I mean, and you can practice the in-person conversations too. In fact, 
I can, I can practice any conversation right now. Tony, let's pretend like you just came into my open house. Okay, we're going to do an in-person conversation that everybody can relate to. Now, when we do our practice calls, we usually start with ring, ring. And I like to actually hold my hand to my <laughs> face like I'm holding an old-fashioned phone because I'm getting into character. I'm, I'm playing like I'm really making a phone call here. Um, so we literally start ring, ring, and you'll say hello, and then I'll go into my spiel. Let's do a fake open house. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be 60 seconds or less. Um, this time you start with a ding dong since you're, you know, ringing the bell to come into my open house. Hello. So, <laughs> a ring, ring. Yeah, ding okay. dong. I don't right? just walk in. <laughs> well, you can, uh, but we start with ding dong because that's sort of our opening, right. you know, Hey, or we know it's ring, go time. Ring, so ring you say ding dong and I say, hi, are you here for the open house? Uh, yes, I am. And of course you are, you know, I do that on purpose, but anyway, not to break character. Great. Come on in. I've got a sign in sheet here and I'll literally hold it like this and say, I just need to get you signed in. And then I'll let you check out the house. What is your name? Sure. Tony Geraci. And I jot that down. Great, Tony. In case you have any questions, I'd love to be able to get back to you uh, with either a phone number or email address. Sure. 216-374-1269. Awesome. And since you gave me your phone, you might as well give me your email too, just in case I have to send you anything. What is that? Sure. Tony C21 Homestar at gmail.com. Got it. Awesome. So uh, what brought you in today? What did you like about this house? Oh, no. Well, I saw I was driving by. I have friends in the neighborhood and I just thought, you know, hey, you know, I was uh, like this neighborhood and like these houses. Thought it would be, you know, to see. You never know when I might want to move. Absolutely. Great. So you saw my signs. You didn't necessarily see it online? Nope. Didn't see it online. I was just driving by. Wonderful. Well, listen, I don't want to hold you up. Take a look at the house. And if you have any questions, I'll be right here. So guys, that's the quick script. Then we're going to let them walk around, maybe listen in, interject a few more questions along the way. Simple as that. Now, listen, I know some of you people are shaking your head going, oh, everybody doesn't just give up their phone number and email so willingly. I'm telling you guys, when I do an open house, I get one or the other or both because I've practiced it. You know, when Tony says, oh, I'd rather not have you contact me. I've got scripts for that. I've got objection handlers for that. And I'm confident because I've practiced them. Right, Tony? Yeah, exactly. And also, I'm not sure without you know going too far deep into open houses and stuff is as a today's day and age, I think it's easier to get people's information because of safety and who's in the house and, and cameras and all of that. I think more and more people like, yeah, if I was a homeowner, I wouldn't want, uh, I would want to know everybody in the house just in case something's missing or something. So yeah. That's one of my, oh, we could, that's a <laughs> whole nother one of my idea. favorite objection handlers, Tony. That's one of my favorites. Oh, goodness. I get it. I promise I won't spam you if you give me your email, but I promised the homeowner that I would get contact information for everybody who came in the house. So if you don't mind, please just give me your email address. And then they usually will give it to you. And then I follow up. I said, well, you've given me your email. You might as well give me your phone number too. Ha ha ha. Right. <laughs> Anyway, that's an example, guys. You can practice all these scripts. And again, I encourage you, make new connections, get new practice partners, build your own little network. Even if it's five agents around the country, that's five more than you had yesterday. So those are my tips for today. Tony, any final thoughts before we wrap up? No, that's great things to think about. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, join us every Tuesday. We're here. If you're on YouTube, smash that subscribe button. If you're listening to the podcast, free beer in real estate, I'm so sorry. The free beer is tomorrow. So come back then. And what else? If you're on Facebook, we always publish our events there. So follow the 21 Mike team on Facebook and we will see you every week, uh, unless it's a holiday, Tuesday from 1130 to 1150. Thank you for being here, everybody. Thanks, everyone. See you next week.